Hi, I'm Bernie Mitchell, President of Silver Platter Productions and Panasonic's P2 Evangelist. Today I'd like to introduce you to the AG HPX 255 camera. It's actually the sister camera to the very popular 250. It shares a lot of the same features, but it has a number of enhancements. If you'd like to review the introductory video that I did on the 250 camcorder, check out this URL. Just like the 250 camera, the new 255 offers the tremendous advantage of recording AVC Intra, full raster, 1920 by 1080, 10-bit, with a 422 color space, in a 5.5 pound handheld camera. The sensors on the camera are one-third 3MOS imagers with 2.2 million pixels. Just like the 250, the 255 has a newly designed lens. This lens is a 22 times zoom lens, which means it's incredibly wide, 28 millimeter and 35 millimeter equivalency, and it has a very long zoom reach, all the way to 616 millimeters. In addition, most shooters will appreciate the fact that this 22 times zoom lens has three manual rings right on the lens barrel. You have easy control over focus, zoom, and iris. These are features usually found on much more expensive cameras. At the back of the camera, you will find two P2 card slots. This means that you have very long record times because when the first card fills up, it automatically goes to the second card. And the cards are hot swappable. You can pull out the first card when you're recording on the second card, insert another card for even longer recording times. This camera records all the HD and SD frame rates and formats that you would expect. In addition, you can also record variable frame rates, which means you can do slow motion and fast motion effects right in the camera. The 255 features a high-res color viewfinder, and in addition, all the connectivity that you expect, time code, gen lock, HDMI, and 10-bit HD SDI. But now let's take a look at some of the features that differentiate the 255 from the 250 camera. At the back of the 255 is a new terminal jack. This allows you to connect the AG EC4 paint box remote controller. This means with the EC4 controller that the 255 camera can serve as a cost-effective camera in multi-camera shoots or as a low-cost studio camera. This optional remote control unit has the ability to control virtually all menu setups and gamma functions that can be accessed directly through the camcorder's onboard menu, including shutter, iris, gain, filter positions, and detail. The EC4 comes with a 10-meter BNC cable that will output the menu onto a monitor. This combines with GenLock input, timecode input and output, and HD-SDI output to allow multi-camera operation that includes camera control. Another cool workflow tool for the 255 camcorder is this optional proxy recorder. This small device can easily be mounted on the camera or tripod. It will record H.264 proxy clips on an SD card at the same time that the 255 is recording high resolution on the P2 cards in the camera. Having the ability to view and edit low-res proxy files streamlines many workflows. It's ideal for reality TV or long-form programming. The unit also comes with a wireless transmitter that allows you to view the proxy material on a remote computer, tablet, or smartphone. You can also view and modify the metadata on both the proxy and P2 files. Like all Panasonic P2 camcorders, the HPX255 is covered by a five-year limited warranty upon registration. All you need to do is register your HPX255 with the Panasonic Pass system to get this extended warranty. By registering, you will ensure that you get emails from Panasonic whenever there is an upgrade to your camera's firmware. With the 255, we built on the success of the 250 by increasing its capabilities to include studio configuration, proxy recording, and wireless metadata input. The HPX 255 greatly increases your flexibility to get the job done. <laughs>